Kia ora today I'm going to show you how to make a Matariki star bunting. These are a great way to learn about all of the Matariki stars and their meaning, and as a special surprise each star reveals a Matariki whānau adventure which relates to each star as you create them. To make your star bunting you will need to either print or make a copy of the stars, a pair of scissors, some string, sellotape and a hole punch. First, I'm going to make Matariki. She is a healer and married to Rehua. When her star is shining bright and you're sick or someone you know is sick, this is a sign that you or they will get better. Take your two pieces of paper, the one with the star name on it, and place the other one to the side. Taking the piece with the star name on it, fold it across the line that goes through the center. Take one corner and fold it along the side edge and try to line up the star name and the whānau adventure together. Turn it over, take that bottom edge and fold it up to the top. Turn it around again, take your forefinger, place it on the inside there and fold along the top edge. Turn the whole thing over and it should look like this. Taking a second piece of paper, fold again along the marked centre line, fold it in half one more time and then place this piece into the top to complete your star. The eight children or tamariki of Matariki and Rehua are all the remaining stars that make up the Matariki cluster. Each have a bounty for humankind. Matariki the star is a kaitiaki or guardian. Some iwi believe there are nine stars that make up the Matariki cluster and some believe there are seven stars. If this is your understanding and belief, please remove Pohutukawa and Hiwai Terangi. Matariki occurs in the winter time, but it changes in line with the marama or the moon each year. The reason for this is because Māori follow the marama taka or the moon calendar, which is seasonal. If you head back to our activity, it would give you the dates of the Maramataka for this year. The stars of Matariki mark the new year for Māori. Not only that, but these special stars also foretell the year ahead. Each star represents bounty or kai and lets us know what will grow, what will harvest well and where to spend the most time and attention. For example, Tupuanuku is one of the stars connected to all things that grow in our garden and will determine how well it will grow in the upcoming season. Mm -hmm.